Hey guys, it's Monsi, and if you don't know me already, I am a member of the Texas Tech Vlog Squad, which is a YouTube channel under student engagement here at Texas Tech. And in today's video, we are going to be answering what to expect for spring versus fall semester for first year students here at Texas Tech. So for Izzy and I, we are going to be telling you guys our predictions on what we think is going to happen during spring semester, just because we are first year students and we are in the midst of experiencing our spring semester. But for the rest of the members who have experienced the spring semester at least once or twice, they'll be giving you guys more in-depth answers to some of the questions, just because they have more experience and they can tell you a little bit more about being a student here at Texas Tech. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get on with it. So the first question is, in your opinion, what's the biggest difference between spring and fall semester? I think my biggest difference is going to be that spring semester is going to be done at a much faster pace than fall semester. And I only think that just because fall semester was a big transition for me. Whereas on the spring semester right now, we've already completed two and a half weeks of class and it doesn't even feel like it. It feels like I've only had classes for a few days. So I definitely think one of the biggest differences is that spring semester is going to fly by much faster than the fall semester. Hey Red Raiders, my name is Izzy. I'm part of the vlog squad from Student Engagement. And the main difference for me was that when I got here to the spring semester, I actually already knew people and I knew campus. So in my fall semester, like I'm personally someone who's not great at navigation at all. I relied a lot on Google Maps. I still use Google Maps to find buildings that I haven't had classes in it yet, but I use like Google Maps a lot less. I have a way better geographical sense when it comes to campus. And I also already made friends here. I was already texting with my friends like, hey guys, you wanna have lunch? You wanna have dinner? And it made me feel so happy to meet them again. Hey Red Raiders! Okay, so I think that the biggest difference between spring and fall semesters is the content for your classes sometimes gets harder just because you could be taking like the second part of a course and then also the weather. I mean that's pretty much the main thing. In the fall it's warmer and then in the spring it's colder. Like <laughs> I would say personally the biggest difference that I see is that things are usually kind of more slow in the spring semester and especially like freshman year. You don't have to worry about like moving in, registering, orientation. You're already a student, so it's kind of easier going into your spring semester than going into your fall semester. For me, the biggest difference between spring and fall semester is that I feel like the fall goes by super quickly. Like it's just boom, 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 boom. And then when you get to the spring, everything kind of slows down. You're in a routine, you know what you're doing. You've already got a semester under your belt. So the spring semester is nice and slow, but in a good way. And then I, the weather is also totally different this spring semester. You have your snowy days, your rainy days, your windy days, your sunny days. Like we're gonna hit all the seasons in the spring semester. So it's a lot different than the fall when it comes to weather. And it just kind of slows down and it's nice and peaceful. The second question is, what's easier about the spring? I think one of the easier things about the spring semester is that I feel a little bit more prepared at least in terms of balancing my academic and my social life, just because I can rely on my experience from the fall semester. And especially coming back from summer break, I know how to pull away from, I guess, being relaxed at home to getting in that grind mode and just focusing on what I need to focus on. So I definitely think that's gonna be easier about the spring is having experience from the fall, being academically driven, but also having a good time outside of school. I think that experience being not too long ago is definitely gonna make the spring semester a lot easier. What's easier for me this spring semester is that I already have a group of like close friends that I got on the fall semester. So when I got to campus, I already had like this group that I knew that I could really count on. And already knowing people in it made me feel so much more secure. I think it's easier because typically you have an idea of like where most things are already. So you have an easier time getting around and you might have already like developed like your study spots and like where you like to eat on campus. You might have like learned how to use the bus system. So kind of know your way around. I I think it's a lot easier to create a routine in the spring semester because you only have that one month break like you just, it's christmas it's holidays all that fun stuff and then you go back into school compared to like when you have the whole summer to do all kinds of things and then you go back into school so i think it's a lot easier to like get into that routine again get ready for school again and just be ready for school because you already have that one fall semester under your belt so that's a lot easier for me in the spring it's just getting a routine and getting a schedule like it's just it's much easier in the spring than it is compared to the fall the third question is, what's harder about the spring? 
So on a personal note, I think that coming back from winter break after seeing my family and transitioning from being used to being in their presence versus being far away from them is going to be one of the harder things about spring. But on another note, I also think that the spring semester also is going to be more academically challenging than the fall, just because your classes build up on top of each other. And since this is my second semester ever of college, it's already building up rigor. So I think that one of the harder things is definitely being away from family after seeing them for an entire month and having a little bit more challenging classes. One thing I do believe is going to be harder is the weather. So back in November, it started to get chiller here in Lubbock and people told me that it was known to be cold. And I come from Brazil, which is a tropical country. So before I came to tech, I have never felt anything below like 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's definitely a chill to the wind <laughs> during the spring semester that I'm definitely not used to. So I think the weather, I think it's going to be the hardest part about spring for me. What's harder to do is mainly just like getting adjusted again. And I also feel like when I come back from break personally, it's kind of hard for me to get in the mindset of like, oh, now I have to do school again. Because you just go from school, break, a well needed break to school again. And so sometimes it's hard to like get into that. So something that I've personally found as a junior is that the finals are kind of like more intense in the spring compared to the finals in like the fall semester. I don't know why, but for some reason, the like finals week is just way more challenging compared to the finals week in the fall semester. In the spring, I think it's a lot harder to sometimes find that motivation because it's like you're almost there, you're almost done, and like you just have a couple more weeks left and you're just like, ah! So that's where I tend to like struggle, but it's just like finding that motivation to get it done. Um, that's where I think is one of the hardest parts in the spring because you've already done the fall semester, you might be halfway through your spring semester, and it's just like you have that one month and it just takes forever and you're just like, ah, but really it's like, it's easy. You just gotta get it done. You just have to have that motivation. So that's one of the hardest things that I struggle with in the spring. It's just having that motivation to like get everything done and be done and be ready for summer because oh, it just, it's a lot, it's a lot of work. The fourth question is, what's your favorite thing to do on campus in the spring? When it isn't windy or isn't super cold outside, I think one of my favorite things on campus is going to be walking around, especially during sunrise and sunset because it's beautiful on campus. And I also look forward to spending some time at Red Raider Plaza because I've actually never sat there besides for maybe 10 or 15 minutes. So I am looking forward to spending more time in that area and just hanging out and enjoying how good campus looks during the day. Great thing to do during spring is hanging out with my friends on campus and I really love going on walks around campus like meeting with them for lunch or for dinner. A lot of my friends live in the same building as me so even just like texting them like hey guys you want to hang out do you want to go to like the social lounge things like that are what I really love to do on campus. My favorite thing to do on campus in the spring is to study outside when it starts to get warmer. I typically like to stay at Red Raider Plaza. It's pretty nice out there. Uh, for me, this would have to be going to um, kind of just walking around Urbanovsky Park in the spring because whenever like the pools open up and the weather gets nicer, you start seeing more people, especially out walking their dogs, playing volleyball, playing spike ball, playing frisbee, playing basketball. So yeah, you kind of see a lot more action, especially like once the weather starts getting a little bit warmer. My absolute favorite thing to do on campus in the spring is Texas Tech Arbor Day. I love plants. I love getting to plant on campus. It's one of the best traditions ever. Um, getting to plant on campus, all the music and like all the games you get to play. Like Arbor Day, hands down, one of my favorite things. Every student should participate. It's the coolest thing in the spring. It's so much fun. You get to plant. It. It's relaxation. It's so nice. It's on April 17th this year. So you all know April 17th. It's a Tuesday. Come to Arbor Day, please. It's so much fun. The fifth question is, what's your favorite thing to do in Lubbock in the spring? I think one of my favorite things this semester is going to be 
trying out new places in Lubbock and exploring it a lot more. It's actually one of my resolutions this year, just because I'm not too familiar with the Lubbock area as much as I would like to. So this spring semester, I want to drive around and look for local coffee shops and cafes, places that I can hang out and study at. So that's definitely something that I'm looking forward to doing in Lubbock during the spring. So my favorite thing to do in Lubbock during the spring is to just go out and explore the city. And even if it's like going grocery shopping or things like that, I find it really funny. And it's like a break in my routine to just take the bus on a Saturday and like go somewhere off campus. If it's like the mall, grocery shopping, um, going to different restaurants, find the foods that I like the most here in Lubbock. That's something that I really like to do because it makes me feel like more connected to the city. And it's a change of pace in the end of the day. My favorite things to do in Lubbock are probably like attend first try art trails, the farmer's market, or like go cafe hopping. I do that a lot. I like to go to Monument, JMB, or Paint Rock. One of my favorite things to do around Lubbock is going to Palo Duro, especially like in the spring since the weather kind of gets a bit nicer. I definitely recommend checking out Palo Duro if you haven't. It's a great place. You can go camping, you can go hiking, you can go like sightseeing strongly recommend going there it's also like about an hour and 30 minutes away so it's not super far you can make it there and back in like one afternoon and my favorite thing to do in lubbock during the springtime is just kind of like spending time outside going to prairie dog town seeing all the parks around lubbock just because the weather is nice like you have those nice days where it's like 60 degree weather it's not too hot it's not too cold it feels great so just kind of exploring lubbock exploring the town getting to see all the cool places and just being outside the sixth question is, when should students start looking for slash applying for summer internships and jobs? I think students should be applying for internships and jobs as soon as possible, no matter what time, if it's in the summer or if it's in the school year, especially if it's in your field of interest, just because you're never gonna know if you're gonna get in. So I think just going hands-on and applying is always a good thing. And if that doesn't work out, at least trying to secure a shadowing position with a professional in your field of interest is always going to help you in the long run, just because it definitely helps you network and secure connections that could eventually get you a position in a summer internship or a future job. I think students should start looking into them during fall. Of course, that doesn't mean you can look into them at spring, you definitely can. But if you start during fall, you have more time to like research opportunities, to apply to more opportunities and sometimes hear back from them sooner. So you already have kind of an idea of what your summer plans are going to be. So yeah. You should start looking for internships and uh, jobs as soon as possible. Giving yourself the more time to prepare is always best. And the Career Center does a really good job at helping students craft their resumes and prepare for interviews. I actually had like a mock interview for this position before I had my actual interview and it was really helpful. I think it was like the most prepared I've ever been for an interview. So I'm really grateful for that. For this one, I would kind of advise, especially for internships, to look for internships in the fall semester. And then by the spring semester, you kind of have an idea of what your plans are for this summer. But if you don't have an internship by the spring, don't worry, you still have the opportunity to get an internship. So keep applying for jobs and be on the lookout if your college has any like info sessions, like company info sessions or any like job fair event that's going on. I'd be on the lookout for those. For internships, I think it's best to start applying right away. You probably have looked at them through the fall semester, but once you hit the spring, you just start applying for them, you know, getting your resume and stuff out there and interviewing so you can have an internship for the summer. The last question is, how can first year students take lessons learned in the fall and apply them in the spring? I think students should reflect on their personal, professional, academic, whatever criteria they wanna fulfill, look at their performance in that criteria and see if it matches what they wanted to perform at or the level they wanted to perform at. I think some self-reflection is definitely necessary. I went through it and based on what I learned about myself and whether or not I achieved the goal or the level that I wanted to achieve, I can change my habits in the spring semester to better achieve that goal. So definitely some self-reflection about what you did in the fall to help you better yourself and achieve your goals in the spring. One thing that I'm definitely taking with me that I've learned on the fall semester is how to effectively communicate with my professors. 
And I think that's something really important that I learned when I come to college because professors are there to help you. So learning how to communicate with them, either to build connections, to build a relationship with them, ask for help, to know what's going on in the class. I think this is an extremely valuable lesson because they have so much to teach us and we have to know how to communicate with them and to share those experiences and learn from them like the most that we can. So I think communicating with my professors is something that I learned during fall that I'm really taking with me during the spring. Okay. Try not to make the same mistakes you made in the first semester. Read your syllabi, wait to buy your textbooks, slash don't wait to buy your lab manuals. Put all of your assignments in your schedule and etc. Just knowing if you got off on the wrong foot in your first semester, trying to do a better job and just learning from your mistakes for the second semester. So my last advice is consider taking summer classes. So usually you don't really think about this in the fall, but in the spring, it's definitely a great tool to take advantage of. I'd recommend taking summer classes if you don't have anything planned for the summer. That way you can kind of like either get ahead in your degree plan or you can kind of like do better in a class that you've already taken. For example, if you got like a C in chemistry, maybe you could retake it and get an A over the summer. So that's definitely something that I really strongly recommend doing. I've taken summer classes both years that I've been here at Texas Tech and I've really enjoyed it. They're kind of more fast paced, but at the end of the day, you still get the credit. So that's something that I would look into. And that's all the questions we have today. I hope you guys found our responses useful and somewhat relatable. But other than that, make sure to like this video and comment below any questions you have or anything you found relatable. If you just want to discuss things, let us know down below. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We upload every Tuesday and Thursday. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And wreck them. Bye.